morning guys, how are you? Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I'm creating vlogs about different topics that are related to us women and today I want to show you my morning skincare routine and also chat to you about investment into Chanel brooch if you're thinking of buying one. So I've recorded morning skincare routine this morning <laughs> as it is a morning skincare routine and you can view it after but for now let's have a look and let's focus on Chanel brooch and why I bought it and um, what you should take in consideration and things like that so first of all when we bought it we bought it in a store called Brown Thomas in Dublin in Ireland and I felt personally that I preferred to go and have a look at the item which I never ever looked at Chanel brooch before so I want to have a look at it I want to have a look at the size try it on me as well and make sure that I'm happy with that investment it was my Christmas present from Colum which I'm so much grateful so now the item actually this brooch has sentimental value therefore I don't think I'm going to be selling it in the future but if you do decide to buy brooch especially with um, the one that I'm going to show you now most of them are investment pieces and you can resell them in the future probably for even better price um, the one that I'm going to show you today it's from classic uh, collection so it's not something that is trendy and it's not going to last it's classic collection so more than likely those brooches will be still available for you to buy over the years and also it's timeless piece as I mentioned you will be able to sell it because it's quite a popular style that everyone more than likely gonna like it so um, when we went to the store of course we received it in this beautiful packaging and I was so amazed with the packaging at the front you can see it's a Chanel fabric like um, looking nearly like a brooch and if you really want to I suppose you could probably take that and attach a little brooch to it at the back if you want to create another Chanel brooch also the second packaging which I'm a little bit destroyed because obviously I want to try to open and I cannot pack this back again for you and also have the same fabric um, looking like a brooch at the front but that's not what it is <laughs> so my brooch looks completely different than that and you may have seen it in my previous video but like so you just open the packaging this lovely Chanel logo here at the front and inside um, in the store they just pack your beautiful brooch like that and you can store that as well in this if you wish so i'm going to take this out now and also i'm going to show you in a minute in the close review because i want to for you to exactly to see a detail how the brooch is made and maybe just to kind of spot the difference if you're planning to buy the brooch second hand that it is um it is original it's not a copy i hope i can see it and pin it properly here it's very hard to pin it without seeing it properly okay now we have it i think we're okay um so the brooch i love the brooch for the reason it has a little bit of a champagne color in it so it's not gold it's not silver but the white stone of course is it, this is not a diamond it is more silver and i would highly recommend as well for you to buy probably this size than the larger size i've tried two sizes and i felt this one was more discreet and it works so well with anything i think you can work um, you can wear this brooch over uh, if you have a coat or jacket if you want to wear a maybe a shirt a blouse with the bow um, it's going to work everywhere <laughs> on any part any garment if you wear so um, but also I felt that this size was so much better than the other size, the, the larger size. Again, the price difference was quite significant. This brooch was about 320 euro. The larger size were five, six hundred, which I felt for my first time buyer of Chanel piece, I want as something that is reasonably priced as well at the same time. I feel if you have a brooch, you don't have to wear much, just simple earrings. You don't need any necklaces as well, nothing else, which is, I feel, again, it's a great investment because if you're not a person like me I don't really like wearing necklaces which I used to but not anymore as much I feel Chanel brooch just give me that little bit of glamour to every single piece I'm wearing because you can wear it with the tops as I mentioned jackets coats or even dresses it's such a versatile piece and I want to show you a little bit closer view of that brooch of course because there's so much detail and craftsmanship goes into it and now I appreciate when I look at it closely I appreciate that yes it's a really handmade beautiful piece that you want to treasure and value for a full life and um, when we were buying our brooch it was just day after Christmas which I do not recommend we were very lucky to get this brooch as all the stuff was sold out and we were advised that the new stock will arrive in 
um, the end of February, March as well. So now it's probably the best time for you to look into buying Chanel brooches if you're thinking of buying it, if you're thinking of investing into it. Also Chanel brooches, like any, uh, I believe Chanel piece has two years warranty, all the accessories. Um, two year warranty if it's any um, damage, let's say stone will fall out as well. It's not something that I'm going to damage myself, it's more due to a faulty item. Same with my wedding shoes that I, you have seen in my previous video, there's also two years warranty, which I'm delighted with because you do need a warranty, especially if you're going to wear it. If you're going to lose it, of course, there's no warranty, but you may have, um, if you have a house insurance, you can also put your valuable, uh, valuable items on house insurance in case if it was stolen, let's say, or lost. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, we didn't look into that yet, but we have to, so just in case. Um, I'm very conscious when I'm wearing it outside, but there's a lovely clasp um, in it, so if if you put it uh, properly as it should be, you're not going to lose that brooch, and yes, it's going to stay with you forever. So let's have a closer view at it. So let me show you this beautiful brooch in closer view, and I hope you can see a metal work around the stones. They're only stones, they're not diamonds, but the metal work is absolutely amazing. I love this kind of silvery champagne. It's not gold, but just this champagne gold um, color of the metal. And I hope you can see just the little details as well, a little dot around on that metal work on the edging. Let me turn the brooch around for you on the other side. And you can see as well when the two CC meet at the bottom, there is a little stamp. And I believe this is confirmation that this um, is original, this is a um, true item. Um, it's not been copied. Um, there is also clasp, there is a little bit of a closure on this clasp. I apologize for my nails, which are looking disgraceful at the moment. But the little clasp has a little turn on it, so it will help you to lock the pin in place. So yeah, I think from the back it's as beautiful as from the front <laughs> and I've been absolutely in love with it. But this might give you a little bit of idea how the one, the pearl one looks like, actually very like as this one from this side, but it was a white pearl finish. So yeah, my beautiful brooch um, that works so well with anything and everything and I've been absolutely delighted for it. What an invest investment for the future, I hope. <laughs> So I hope you like that brooch. I hope you think it's a nice piece, a worth investment. It's a very personal thing as well because you might like a more pearl brooches that wasn't available to me at the time. I'm still considering to buy the one that was made with pearls um, only, which I love this one. It was similar size to it and I think it could be a little bit different approach um, to wearing this one as well every day. It could be even a little bit more elegant, more evening wear at the one made with pearls. So yeah, that's all my that's my all my about my brooch today. Thank you so much for watching as well. Um, and let's move on to my morning skincare routine. Good morning, guys. Today I have a morning skincare routine. I have a different skincare to, uh, routine in the nighttime and skincare routine uh, once a week. But today let's focus on the one <clears throat> for the morning. And before we move on to this. My favorite products for the morning skincare routine. I want to keep an update for you on American oil products that I review for you in my previous video. I can leave the link below for that video or just somewhere maybe in the corner over here. But just to mention that shampoo is still fantastic, amazing. I love the shampoo from that collection. It cleans my scalp and hair so well from any residue that it's left from styling products. But I feel a little bit, my skin is a little bit too sensitive for it, so I'm going to have to use maybe, maybe every second time <coughs> instead of, um, uh, <coughs> I'm losing my voice, excuse me, <coughs> what is going on? <laughs> so I'm going to have to use every second uh, time I'm washing my hair, I suppose, not every single time. Conditioner is still amazing, lovely, moisturizing, nourishing, I'm absolutely in love with the conditioner, I'm definitely going to buy the large size of that conditioner. And then another product, my favorite favorite, of course, the styling cream that was a part of that gift set that I purchased myself. It's not sponsored. This video and any other of my videos is not sponsored. Um, but this beautiful hydration styling cream, I feel, uh, give me this a more full volume, volume hair as well. And I feel there's a more thickness in my hair, which is very unusual. And I understand it's probably a little bit of artificial feeling, but I love that, that they feel so strong and moist and um, it's just everything that you're looking for a styling product and also I feel that I don't have to use as much of a hair straightener which is very unusual and it's 
shorten the time of a meter use in hairspray fluid, which means it protects from further damage. <clears throat> Just to show you my hair this morning, I've washed them um, this morning and I know naturally that's what I have. I have a fine and very brittle hair but with Moroccan oil products and also Olaplex I feel I have the best hair that I have in a long time. And I feel like, I, you can hear I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> because I was con convinced, I convinced myself that I had a virus because I didn't feel well, I have aches and pains. But it was just for about two days and now um, symptoms, like I don't have any symptoms, I didn't have any fever, I didn't have um, anything else apart from just kind of aches and pains and a little bit of sore throat, so I felt I might have some little bit of cold. So let's hope this is not what it is as well. I've also watched my favourite uh, vlogger from England, from London, and she had a virus and she just described her experience with it so I'm going to link, leave the link below to her video and it's very informative very good to watch and I highly recommend it just as long as you not convince yourself like I convinced myself that I had it but it's a fantastic video please watch it her experience through it and she's living on her own as well uh, which is even much harder because no one really close that was at home and kind of look after her um, so yeah let's move on um, to the products definitely one more time American oil um, hydration styling cream one of the best products if you want to shorten the time of straighten your hair blow drying your hair give that little bit of more fullness texture feeling of the thick and strong hair now, skincare, morning skincare routine. So, I, it's um, it's the brand that I've been using for about three, three to six months. Depends on the product. Some of the products I'm only after using only about two weeks. <clears throat> It's a medical grade brand, so it's not something that you can uh, buy in a beauty store. But I found an uh, amazing uh, beauty salon in Wexford where you can have an online consultation for 30 euro. Um, it's it's special price at the moment of 30 euro. Normally I think it's 60 euro. Online consultation now at this moment if you want to contact them and they will recommend which products are good for your skin and therefore you will be able to buy it from them, those products. You cannot buy them online from the brand itself because they uh, password protected as well and you have to be recommended through a beauty salon. But starting from, I have to get myself comfortable here because I'm sitting on the ground <laughs> and I think I think my leg is going to be numb in a minute but let, let's try it. I might have to cut it short this video. First thing that I do in the morning, I don't really need a cleanser but if I do, I use a Hydra Boost cleanser and this is the brand that we're going to be talking about today called Alumir. Medical grade brand so their ingredients are much higher, much stronger than something that you can buy in a beauty store and that's why they need to be recommended by the beauty person, beaut beautician, beauty person, not a beautician or a professional. But if I do feel like I have loads of residue left um, from a lot of night creams, let's say using night before, that I would use Hydra Boost. It's specifically for dry skin, as I have a dry skin, and also bear in mind that I'm 42 years old as well. So different things might work for me um, less than for someone who is younger than me. And if I don't need to use a Hydra Boost, let's put it on the side. It's lovely and creamy texture cleanser. But if I don't need to cleanse, all I do, I use just a natural rose um, water, 100% natural um, strong rose water. So all I do is just apply it on the cotton pad and wipe my skin as it, like you would apply maybe a toner. That's exactly what I do, just wipe off any access, any products from the night before on my skin. For the rose, um, rose water, it feels very moisturizing, toning, nutrition. It's just such a beautiful product for your skin and I have not been buying any toner since I'm using rose water. I'm going to apply a little bit more, I just want to give it a good kind of morning cleanse to my skin. Make sure that it's all gone. I have a tan last night. I apply tanning cream to my skin and I use so um, Lavira product that I recommend for you in my previous uh, vlogs. Again, if you wish, I can mention in the comments below if there's any need for it, if you want to watch it, how I am tanning my skin. Yeah, so well, I'm happy with the cleanse feeling as well of it and 
The second product that I'm going to use in the morning, every single day, would be Bright and Clear Solution from Alumir. So what it is, it's it's a daily exfoliant. You can apply this in the morning and in the evening and it also it helps brighten your skin, fight pigmentation and exfoliate your skin um, through use of that product. So you don't have to use any mechanical scrubs or peels whatsoever or any other face mask. All you need is just this fantastic product. It's bright and clear solution that brighten your skin, help fight pigmentation and also exfoliate your skin. So all I do, um, I just use a few pumps of that product accordingly and I will wipe over my skin gently without any kind of a strong pressure, just apply to my skin and also I will avoid my eyelids as my eyelids first of all are very sensitive and most of the acid should be avoided in our area. Therefore I'm going as close as I can to my lash line but I am avoiding my eyelids who are as you can see it's always my eyelids are always a little bit more red and a little bit darker i don't have as much um, under eye circles um, but at the same time my eyelids are quite dark um, and i feel it has to do with my allergies because i get myself a little comfortable again has to do with my allergies for the reason that quite often in the middle of the night i will wake up and i kind of will be rubbing my eyes and sometimes during the day i'll be doing the same because my skin will be itchy as well or I have itchy eyes and I would say that's the problem that's why I always have a little bit more redness in my eyelids so all you have to do just leave it soaking for a few seconds this solution and I've been loving it because you don't need any other exfoliating products whatsoever if I do if I use something else I love good jeans for Sunday Riley. This is a very very good brand to start with if you feel like you don't want to commit to Alumir medical grade products. Sunday Riley, any, nearly every single product from Sunday Riley was so good on my skin and I highly recommend it if you prefer to start from something a little bit less um, stronger for example. So that's the brightening um, solution. So the next thing that I usually would do in the morning as well, I would either apply my lash conditioner, which you saw review in my previous video as well, to grow my eyelashes. I did apply it last night, so therefore I'm going to apply it tonight again. There's no need for me to apply it this morning, but just to let you know, if I forget to apply the um, night before, I would apply Revital Lash as well in the morning. Let's keep it through. Um, there's no need for me to apply it to waste in the product because even the brand from Revital Lash, they only recommend it to use it once a day. They say there's no need for use it twice a day and I did try to use twice a day and to be honest, there was not that much different in the results. So once a day is enough, don't waste your product, don't waste your money. So next thing that I would um, normally use, which I don't have anymore and run out, is this, this is just the empty packaging is antioxidant serum C and E and the new version of it I think has a peptides in it also. So this fantastic serum is anti-aging as well and contains vitamin C, vitamin E and what is amazing about this product versus any other vitamin serum that I have used, this is one of the best serums that I have ever tried. It's, it's more like a water base and soaks into your skin perfectly, there's no residue left which I feel with a lot of products, vitamin C just sits on your skin and nothing happening. So this is supposed to help with eye aging, again pigmentation, brightening your skin and have an antioxidant oxidant <laughs> properties. I, think, I don't think I'm saying this right. Um, so it's a ascorbic acid form of vitamin C and as you know vitamin C is so sensitive to air and light that's why it has to be kept in a dry packaging as well and open as little as possible so actually what the company came up when you buy a new product which I'm going to actually buy it today because it's gone there is actually a little bit of I think from what I understand vitamin E and vitamin C is just a in, in the jar and you mix them together yourself when you're buying that product. You have to only mix it twice and shake it very, very well. So that's what I did and I have an absolutely fantastic vitamin C serum that just gave me the brightness. I felt my skin was more plump, nourished as well and also I'm fighting my pigmentation at the moment and this is what you see. Actually, this is a properly... Um, heard less of what I used to have of pigmentation. If I will be able to find somewhere a pictures maybe from previous years, 
it's probably going to be very hard but if I do I'm going to show you how much of a pigmentation I have because I've been going to sunbeds for years when I was younger and I stopped going to sunbeds about six seven years ago um, and I think that's what helps as well. Now I'm fighting, um, those products help me to fight what I, how I damage my skin over the years from the sun beds. Again, I'm not sun baiting also, so I'm always trying to protect my skin with, um, with sunscreens, which brings me to, in the next few minutes as so I'm gonna show you my favorite sunscreen that I'm using every single day. So the next thing I feel like now, this is lovely and soaked into my skin, I'm gonna use my eye cream. And this is Alumi Eye. Eye cream. I'm actually going to show you how you have to, how you open up this product. I just love the packaging. This kind of rose gold and white, and also all you have to do just twist the cup and it just pops up as well. You don't need much of the product. It's just a tiny little bit, and again, you can just add it add a little bit more commonly. I always put it on the back of my hand because I feel it's a little bit easier for me to apply it, and then I know how much of it I need as well. So this one, Intel Bright. Sorry, it's Alumi. Alumin eye um, eye cream. It helps to fight with uh, fine lines and wrinkles, also puffy, puffiness, and if you have dark circles. Also, it gives you an instant little bit of a brightening effect. I feel when I'm applying, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a lift. I don't know. It's probably in my head as well, but I don't know. Can you see it? It brighten this area gently for you and prepare for the for a makeup. For the further application i've always been against eye creams i don't know i felt it's a waste of money why am i buying eye cream if i can buy something strong that i'm using for my face and also applying with my eyes but now i know i've been wrong and i feel that i've damaged uh, my eyelids and my eyes um, i didn't prevent what i have now and as you know it's very hard to get any treatment for your eyes eyelids eye area as it's um, such a sensitive area and of course your eyes so any laser treatment as well everything is just trying to avoid eye area which is finding now for me difficult because now I end up with the much stronger wrinkles around my eyes than anywhere else on my face I feel I also smile a lot so I have a, a quite prominent lines here around my eyes as well and this middle part because I'm always doing this which is not a good idea I did not have a Botox I do think about the Botox but I did not have it um, and I spoke to a lot of people who have it and they look fantastic, look amazing, they feel okay, there's no side effects. So it is on my mind but for the moment I'm trying to avoid it as much as I can just to kind of delay at the cost of it as well and delay, delay of the fact using it as well because of course we know it's, it's, it's in a way it's a chemical but these products that I'm talking to you about as well they're trying to avoid any harsh, any strong um, nasty ingredients and um, they also all the packaging is recyclable and they're not testing on animals as well um, so they're very very good for that reason and um, also apart from that i feel they work since i started using them i felt that my eyelids are not as droopy as well as they used to be i always look very kind of tired and within an age over 20, 35 when I was 35, I've noticed everything started changing. My pigmentation went stronger, more visible as well. My eyelids started drooping a lot. Um, is that more drooping? It is, is it? <laughs> Going down and being more soggy as well. And that makes you more look kind of like tired all the time. So that's why now eye cream, my best, best friend. It's one of the best eye creams that I have used. Also for the reason that it does not irritate my sensitive skin around my eyes when a lot of creams did. And this is the first one that I came across that it didn't. Um, you can combine this as well. They have another separate one with the retinol and you can use the one with the retinol also. So that's, that's about the eyes. The next thing that I'm using is for my pigmentation, it's called Intel, Intel Bright Complex. And I've been using, this is my second bottle of that product. And I've been using this now, I would say for about four or five months in combination with laser treatment that I was receiving from a fade clinic for pigmentation. I feel finally my pigmentation fading away. And I would say 25% or more, actually maybe 30, 35 of my pigmentation is gone where it used to be. I also get big patches of pigmentation on the side close to my eyes, not as much on my forehead, but it mostly was located on my cheeks 
my chin as well and my upper lip and especially if I was sunbathing um, then yes my pigmentation was so strong my skin was dry as well and now with this beautiful cream combined with laser um, treatment I feel finally I have control over my pigmentation so this product it helps you fight what you already have and also prevent for further formation of pigmentation and I think I could not do without this product for the moment honestly any of those products I love absolutely all of them and because it's a medical grade high grade as well I feel they definitely work on my skin and miracles and I think this brand it doesn't get enough credit yet it's probably not well known enough it should be but again twist the cup and all I all you need it's actually have more kind of like a yellowy color but um, you don't need much of it and I'm only I'm not applying on my neckline I'm only applying my forehead uh, my cheek chin as well the rest of my face I'm avoiding eye area I did not try on it on my eyes I'm not sure do I need it maybe it will help me fight a um, little bit of this discoloration maybe maybe I should start to apply it over my eyes maybe I will and if I do uh, see any results over my eyelids I will definitely let you know as you could see those products they soak in so beautifully I'm not going to be making special face massage for you today it's just quick application because I want to tell you more about the product um, so I'm not massaging my skin or anything this morning um, but they soak in so quickly so well um, and it feels like every time you apply your makeup after all those products all together or if, even if you use them single, as a single product they soak into your skin so well and makeup look fantastic over I never have any problem with makeup kind of do you know sometimes when you apply cream and you're applying foundation and then you can roll your foundation it's happened to me so many times and I feel maybe it has to do something with the silicones but I think this brand from what I understand they don't use the silicones as well um, so those creams they feel they just soak into your skin and they just give you lovely nourishment and moisture i don't have to use moisturizer with my dry skin because this intel bright complex is so moisturizing as well at the same time yes you can get a moisturizer if you want to from the company they have a moisturizing product but i feel this is enough and with combination as well with the vitamin c i had one of the most beautiful skin ever so that's for if you're fighting pigmentation i highly recommend there's two different ones but this one um, is specifically for fighting what you already have and also prevent um, further formation of pigmentation so next after when I use every single day absolutely every single day through whole year through the winter even if I stay at home and I'm not planning to go outside I'm using my favorite sunscreen favorite sunscreen from all sunscreen that I have ever been used so this is broad spectrum broad spectrum um, um, factor 40 and also it's physical um, sunscreen so it contains a titanium dioxin 7% and also zinc oxide 6.28% I'm reading here at the back of the bottle um, and also what it is why do I love this one and then all above because it's also tinted and feel really really moisturizing but if you have an oily skin there's a matte version of this product you're not gonna like it on oily skin because it's a little bit greasy at the start and takes about 10 to 15 minutes to soak in uh, into your skin and it sits a little bit on the skin but nothing like any other product that I have tried it's just more feels like a beautiful cream on your skin than anything else and I love the fact that it's tinted because a tint straight away give me a little bit of coverage before I even apply foundation and also give me the color so if I don't want to I don't have to apply um, sunscreens on my face if you're trying not to use any sunscreens well. but the one that I'm using watch my previous video about tanning and I love that sunscreen is just one of the very very best that doesn't block your pores let's apply my favorite sunscreen broad spectrum 40 and believe me or not you don't need guys more than 40 apparently 40 and 50 there's not that much different between so that's probably enough and um, what we need as you can see has a little bit of color it's a universal color it's for all skin tones and we need to be quite fast when we apply it to our skin because it's soak in um, quickly enough and when I'm applying it, I'm applying over my eyelids as well, make sure I am covering my entire face. You can also apply it on your ears if you want to. So let me just rub that and you have to make sure that you are applying it evenly all over because there is a like, little kind of like a dark microbeads and you have to mix them well on your skin, make sure that it's all 
distribute evenly. Um, now, that's how it looks like. I feel I'm going to wipe my hands off here as well on my rose water for a second. But if you can see, guys, it just gives you instant glow. And I feel this work wonders under foundation and on its own. If you don't want to apply foundation, I feel you get the lovely color and glow for throughout the day. You look nice, beautiful, <laughs> with the beautiful moisture and glowing skin. But under the makeup, it's like a beautiful, perfect primer slash CC BB cream type of product. Absolutely in love with this Aloe Mir. Um, sheer Hydration actually Broad Spectrum SPF 40, just the full name of that product. Again, I'm going to leave all the links below to products that I'm using. And I'm going to leave a YouTube as well, a channel from Alumir itself, and they explain a little bit about each product, so if you want to read more about it. But please do um, register for the consultation, and that way you will know exactly what you need without spending money on something that you maybe not need, it when you think you might need, like I was. So my uh, it was a mistake, and it's not a mistake, it's, it was a good result mistake. I purchased this product, it's a vitamin rich smoother. And what I kind of thought I am buying strictly another vitamin A and vitamin, no, it's vitamin, yes, I think vitamin A and E product. But as it happened, it's actually a primer. It also anti-aging product that contains those vitamins, but also, no, sorry, I apologize, it's vitamin C and E. But also, yes, it is a primer, and I'm not a big fan of primers, I have to say, but I was pleasantly surprised with this product because I feel with sheer hydration SPF, I have enough of prime on my skin, but this was actually pleasantly surprised to me that when I bought it, thought about buying cream, I actually bought a cream and a primer. So consistency of it, it's lovely and very kind of cream slash watery product. And you don't need much of it as well and you can dump it into your skin if you wish or you can just smooth it out and it feels so silky on your skin. It's unbelievable how silky um, feeling and look it gives. It helps also, it, it also have anti-aging properties so between being a primer and anti-aging I think it's a win-win situation. So what I do now using the product and I do apply it every single time I'm applying the makeup. You can use that also in the evening. It doesn't have to be only specifically primer. You can use that also in the evening as your regular um, anti-aging cream. Love the consistency of it and love what it does as well and how well my makeup sits over. Do I need it? I probably don't, but I'm, I'm happy that it has this vitamin C, vitamin E in it as well. So do act as a cream on your skin. But if you do looking for a luxury, amazing anti-aging moisturizing primer, definitely if you love the primers, I highly recommend this product. <laughs> now, so that would be my morning skincare routine. We have a sunscreen, we have anti-aging properties as well, we have a little bit of exfoliation, but remember, if you're using any acid, whatsoever any acids you do need a sunscreen if you're using retinol you do need a sunscreen so i highly recommend commit to a sunscreen from now on and use it every single day and you're going to prevent a further sun damage as well so i hope you like my skincare routine that's all my uh, medical grade favorite product for the moment and as i mentioned before I'm going to buy again this product because i really really miss it and i don't think i want to replace it with anything else but if you do do you like Sunday Riley products? Vitamin C from Sunday Riley Serum. It's absolutely fantastic. It's different consistency to this one. This is more water-based and Sunday Riley, which I don't have at the moment. This is actually only a glycolic acid. The packaging, I'm going to leave the link below. It's, it's kind of orange packaging from Sunday Riley. Maybe I can just give a picture somewhere here for you guys. It's also very, very fantastic. I think they're very similar in price. So if I was to choose, I probably would choose definitely this product because it is medical grade and I feel it's going to be much stronger than Sunday Riley product. But they're very good too, vitamin C that I've been loving, that's soaking into your skin and your makeup, your skin looks beautiful, glowing, nourishing as well. And that's what we're looking for, glow every single day. I think that's everything that I just wanted to mention to you guys. 
Please get yourself familiar with this brand if you're looking for something um, upgrade your skincare routine, especially if you're 35 or over and you feel the products that you're using at the moment are not enough. They don't have, let's say, they're not enough anti-aging, they don't give you enough glow and things so on. So thank you so much for watching this video and I promise I'm going to make with you evening skincare routine at some point as well because I have amazing two cleansers as well. Apart from um, Alumira cleanser, I have another cleanser that I love. It's kind of more pre-cleanser that I'm using and I need to tell you about it because it's absolutely amazing product and 100% worth it to buy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my skincare routine and yes, I hope I'm going to see you in my next video. Thank you for all your support and watching and sharing my video. Lots of hugs and kisses and I will see you soon.